White House Insider segment tonight, chaos within the Secret Service. The White House fence jumper has been well documented, but another story was broken by the Washington Post as well as the Washington Examiner. Apparently, a security contractor with a gun on him and three prior convictions for assault was allowed on an elevator with President Obama during a September 16th trip to Atlanta. That was a violation of Secret Service protocol. Joining us now from Washington, the aforementioned Ed Henry. So what happened there? Well, the, the violation of protocol was that this was somebody who had gotten a job as a security guard, as I understand it, at the CDC in Atlanta. And something I learned during this investigation I did not know is that when the president gives a speech somewhere, if that company or government organization has their own police force or their own security guards, uh, they're not allowed to carry weapons. The Secret Service basically supersede whatever police powers or whatever uh, or that organization, their normal protocols. And so, A, it was somebody hired as a security guard without the Secret Service realizing uh, that he did have, by the way, prior arrests. I'm told right. he was not actually convicted of those crimes. Because usually they go at least over, had a record. Usually the Secret Service goes gun. over that to see if anybody in the proximity of the president has any kind of uh, weird stuff on a resume. But they now, was dropped a guy, the ball. Was the yeah. guy arrested or anything? Or what was he it? was taken. He was fired, I'm told, by uh, the officials there because he also broke protocol by hopping on this elevator with the president, shooting video or pictures, a selfie or some goofy thing that initially caught people's attention. This is unbelievable. And then when they pulled so some, him aside. Some guy, yeah. some local security guy hired yeah. probably per diem, armed. It's, right. It's the, all right. So and we know it's a, he was inches from the president and he obviously could have done something. Thankfully, he did not. But that, I'm told, it was the pivotal moment where the president lost confidence in Julia Pearson, the director. He had full confidence just hours, they said, you know, before she actually was resigned. That before, but, uh, but that, that but, wasn't before the fence jumper. Then the fence jumper was just added. Right. The added sequence the of chaos. events basically is right. that Julia Pearson briefed him last week face to face in the Oval Office about the fence jumper but did not mention this other thing in the elevator thinking it could be swept under the rug. When All the right. president found out about that, I'm told he was furious. Okay, I miss Miss Person yeah. will be working at Burger King next week. So she's <laughs> done. All right, now this, this was a topic of discussion at a White House briefing. Roll the tape. Security contractor at the CDC who was in the elevator who was armed in the presence of the president uh, in violation of uh, Secret Service protocols. Uh, did Director Pearson brief the president on that incident? Jim, I can tell you that the, that the White House uh, first learned uh, of that incident uh, yesterday afternoon, shortly before it was reported by, uh, before it was publicly reported by a news organization. All right, so he just backs up what you say that you know. Right. It's totally so the out. incident was bad enough, but the fact that she wasn't upfront about course. it with the president. Of and course. I'm told, by the way, the White House's story is what changed here in terms of the confidence her is that she offered a resignation. I'm told by a Secret Service insider she was brought in by the director, the, the Secretary of Homeland Security, and said. Give us of your course. resignation. Of course, you're done today. So yeah. that's what happened. Yeah, now yeah. she's going to go vacation with Sibelius. I think they're going to go down to St. Bart's. 